Kelly, Ben Simone, welcome back to Celeb Buzz. We are in the middle, nearing the end actually, of Fashion Week, correct? We are. And we've noticed a trend that's been happening. Uh, go for it. There's a huge trend that's happening. All these reality stars are now considered like serious fashionistas. And the first one you want to talk about was Daisy Fuentes, correct? Yes. Tell yeah. us more about Miss Daisy Fuentes. Well, Daisy Fuentes has a new line for Kohl's, and she's been doing a lot of stuff for Kohl's, whether it's like a lot of exercise wear for that woman, you know, the like, you know, um, 30 to 50 kind of woman. But now she's actually doing like more ready to wear. I mean, she's got like, you know, skinny pants, pencil skirts, and they're all available at Kohl's. So she's really, even though we haven't seen her on a reality show in a long time, you know, she's really taking that, you know, Kohl's market by storm. So the second person on our list is actually someone who's been in fashion for a long time, Rachel Zoe. Rachel Zoe has been in fashion a long time. Right. She used to work for Teen Vogue. She used to style, um, I think, was it, was it New Kids on the Block, I think she oh, styled really? for? And when I, I was at Hamptons, she styled for me, you know, when I first started in the fashion industry, she was one of my biggest stylists. She's that kind of girl that's like super hardworking. She has an amazing aesthetic. She's always been obsessed with Missoni, you know, obsessed with Halston. She worked for um, Halston with Harvey Weinstein for a little bit. You know, she's got that great sensibility and there's, it's like, it's not, you know, it's expected that she's gonna do well because she's got, you know, incredible fashion sense. She knows her demographic, she knows the market, she knows how she wants her celebrities to dress, and she's doing an amazing job. So next on our list is another person who's been around the business for a long time, Michael Kors. Michael Kors, I mean, obviously, he's really considered an American icon in terms of fashion. I mean, you know, I remember my one of my first fashion shows was going to see, you know, Michael Kors. And it's always been, you know, phenomenal, a huge statement during Fashion Week. But the minute that he went on Project Runway, his stock market went flying. His accessories are so out of, out of this world, and his stock is like, something that like investment bankers like watch like crazy. Next on our list is a Spice Girl named Victoria Beckham. Former Spice Girl, I think, yeah. Former Spice Girl. Forever a Spice Girl. Forever always a Spice Me Girl. Me too. I mean, once a Spice Girl, always a Spice Girl. <laughs> the great thing about her though is that she took that, you know, persona and really like, you know, made it super sophisticated. And, you know, she's very, very good friends with Tom Ford. She's very connected in the LA scene. But, you know, instead of going like, you know, mini skirts and like still trying to like maintain that Spice Girl look, she's taken that sophisticated edge and really, really gone for it. Last on our list is Project Runway winner, correct? Christian Siriano. Right. Yeah. Christian has done an amazing job, and it's so funny because he has this quirky sensibility, but his clothing is amazing. And like this season, he's all about, you know, Mexican, raffia, like he still does a lot of like, you know, super glamorous dresses, but he's having a lot more fun with it. He's playful and he's funny, but he's very clever and he loves fashion. And it's really exciting to be around him because, you know, he really, really loves it. And he wants to make beautiful clothes for people. That's so cool. All right. Well, thank you, Kelly, so much for coming. Um, we'll have you back very soon. Thank That's you so much. Thing. See thank you later. You. Happy Fashion Week. <laughs>